customer went down to Starchers and he was looking to make a deal. He was in a bind and broken down and looking for steel. He came across a counterman who said, we can really help. We can fix you up with the parts you need. We're the best you've ever seen. Fire up the engine, run, run, run. Grease up the chassis with a new grease gun. Tools on the wall and batteries too. Everything you need, just waiting for you. Willard Starchers is the place to shop. Good people, good prices, good parts. Willard Starchers, open seven days a week. Dial 304-927-2520. Staff's Pharmacy is a proud supporter of Raider Athletics, school, and local events. We have served the community since 1940, and our customers' satisfaction is our number one priority. We offer free local delivery and mail-out services. Stop in and see our great selection of giftware, including evergreen flags, Swan Creek candles, a new line of purses, and much more. Staff's Pharmacy is located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. Please call us at 304-927-2980. Spring into action with Roan Self Storage. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the clutter that winter left behind? It's time for a fresh start with spring cleaning. And where better to store your treasures than Roan Self Storage? As you refresh your home and clear out those closets, remember Roan Self Storage is here to keep your belongings safe and secure. With a variety of unit sizes and 24-7 access, you could store with confidence. Not sure where to start? Here are some spring storage ideas. Seasonal gear. Store your winter clothes, skis, and snowboards to make room for summer fun. Holiday decor. Keep your festive decorations in perfect condition for next year. Sports equipment. Make space in your garage by storing bikes, helmets, and more. Ready to make more room for spring? Call us now at 304-421-3091 or visit us at RhoneSelfStorage.com and let Roan Self Storage help you clear the way for a beautiful season ahead. Ridgetop Rentals, located at 3502 Clay Road in Spencer, West Virginia, is the place to go for all your equipment needs. We have tractors, dozers, backhoes, excavators, teramites, air compressors, straw blowers, generators, jackhammers, torpedo heaters, and much more. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can check us out on the web at ridgetoprentals.machinerytrader.com, follow us on Facebook at Ridgetop Rentals LLC, or you can call us today at 304 908 20 or 304-927-1418. Ridgetop Rentals is a proud supporter of all Roan County Athletics. Let's go Raiders! Chronic pain doesn't have to control your life. At Roan General Hospital, our pain and spine experts offer minimally invasive solutions that can offer relief from pain caused by herniated discs, spinal stenosis, sciatica, damaged nerves, compression fractures, and more, with a focus on avoiding the use of habit-forming medications. It's time to reclaim your life from pain. Roan General Hospital, care you can trust, close to home. Thrive with Five at the best community bank in the Canal Valley, Boca Valley Bank. Boca Valley Bank is now offering a certificate of deposit special, 10-month APY, annual percentage yield 5%. Take advantage of this great rate to grow your savings. For more information, stop by a Boca Valley Bank location today or call 844-782-2651. Boca Valley Bank, where relationships matter. Certain terms and conditions apply. Rates based on minimum annual percentage yield. Subject to change without notice. Minimum deposit required of $10,000 of new money not currently on deposit with Boca Valley Bank to receive APY. Member FDIC. Visit Phoenix Nutrition at 225 Main Street in Spencer. Try our awesome drinks. It'll only take one sip to find out what we're all about. We offer loaded teas to jumpstart your day. All of our teas are sugar-free with just 24 calories. We have such a wide variety of combinations, you may never try the same drink twice. Phoenix offers protein shakes and protein coffees as well. We are open Tuesday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Follow us on Facebook at Phoenix Nutrition, Instagram at phoenix.nutrition.wv, and come visit us at 225 Main Street in Spencer. Proud supporter of all Roan County Raiders. Want to look good and feel good? Then stop by and see John Penna at Penna's Barbershop in Spencer on Main Street. Want a guaranteed spot? You can set up an appointment, but if time is not an option, walk-ins are always welcome. Traditional haircuts, no problem. Tapers, high and tight, flat tops, and beard trims. Or if you're looking for something new, he can do that too. Custom designs, burst fades, and mullets. That's right, West Virginia Waterfall. Keeping you styling and profiling. 
Penis Barbershop has been a proud supporter of Roan County and Raider Athletics since 2009. Penis Barbershop on Main Street in Spencer. Stop in, call, or text at 304-531-4218. Time has just changed. Are you ready for a change? Old Fences Realty can help with that. I'm Mike Greenlee, the broker, and I've helped thousands of people make a change in latitude. If you're thinking about selling, just give our office a call, and one of our professional, friendly agents will be there right away. We don't just put it on Facebook and hope it sells. We use technology to reach all over the world. We have well-qualified buyers waiting for your home. Old Fences Realty can even help find you a great agent wherever you're moving. So call us right away. Just as your local State Farm agent combines good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates, you can combine your home and auto, and guess what you'll get? That's right, good neighbor service with surprisingly great rates. In fact, State Farm agent Norm Daniels is your go-to agent in Spencer, West Virginia, for the service you deserve at the price you want. So try combining home and auto today. State Farm agent Norm Daniels will help you mix and match things perfectly. Call 304-927-5680 for your surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Individual premiums will vary by customer. All applicants subject to State Farm underwriting requirements. Let Mini Hamilton Health System be your choice when you or your family member has had a major illness or injury and needs extended rehabilitation and or therapy. Our swing bed program makes it possible to recover closer to your home. System, better healthcare, better living. Hamilton Work out of town during the week? Come to Miller Suds and Sales and get those work clothes washed and dried while your kids read or play in the new learning section. Don't worry, we also have vending machines to get you through laundry day. Seven days a week, eight to eight for your convenience. McIntosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances has been servicing Spencer and the surrounding area for over 50 years. McIntosh carries the finest selection of products to bring you the best value for your purchases. We are a full-line furniture, appliance, bedding, and hardware retailer. We proudly supply Amana, Frigidaire, Vaughn, Brone, Lazy Boy, Whirlpool, Brown, and Maytag products. Shop local and support local businesses who support local athletes. We offer what the big stores want, sales, service, delivery, installation, and removal. Call 304-927-2700. Visit us on the web at macintosh.goretailer.com. Check out our Facebook page at Macintosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances or stop by and see us at 204 Market Street in downtown Spencer. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac, quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town. McDonald's in Spencer. Egg McMuffin, sausage egg and cheese biscuit, hot cakes, sausage burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown. Great prices every day. McDonald's in Spencer. I'm loving it and so will you. Hey, are you serious? I like a good laugh. I bet you do too. Which is why I say, if all those insurance companies want to spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads, go right ahead, as long as it's not my money that's paying for it. Here's how you get seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance. Go to Erie Insurance. With Erie, a great price is just a start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products like Erie Rate Lock. You hear that? Rate Lock. The name says it all. For car insurance, it can't be beat. But hey, don't just take it from me. See for yourself why more than 90% of Erie customers stay with them year after year after year. Seriously. Your Erie Insurance Agent in Spencer is the Kirby Insurance Agency. Get a quote at 927-2544. That's 927-2544. Or visit kirbyinsurance.com. In the 2024 circuit judge election, what are you looking for in a candidate? I want someone who has experience in a courtroom. We need someone who's hardworking. 
It's important to me to have someone who is fair and treats everyone the same. Who are you voting for in the 2024 circuit judge race? Josh Downey. I'm voting for Josh Downey. I'm voting for Josh Downey. Paid for by the committee to elect Josh Downey, Aaron M. Nichols Treasurer. If you have been injured in an auto accident, don't wait to seek the compensation you deserve. At Joel Baker Law, we will work tirelessly to ensure you receive fair treatment and the maximum compensation possible. Contact us today for a free consultation, 304-500-9238. Your road to recovery starts here. These nice days we've had off and on get us in the traveling mood. Make sure your vehicle is in shape with a no-charge multi-point inspection checkout at Jack Garrett Ford Parts and Service. No purchase necessary. This special offer is by appointment only for a limited time. So make sure your vehicle is ready to roll for vacation fun. Call Jack Garrett Ford Parts and Service today for your appointment. 927-2490. Jack Garrett Ford Parts and Service. Ripley Road, Spencer. Offer ends March 30th. Let your imagination run wild while your worries stay far away and come check out all the durable, easy to maintain flooring that's available at Honest Fred's Flooring. We have three locations, Spencer, Parkersburg, and Marietta. You'll find all the latest flooring trends, carpet, vinyl, hardwood, ceramic tile, and the very popular luxury vinyl flooring. We install everything we sell and financing is available. So come see us at one of our convenient locations or check us out on the web at honestfred.com. Hilder Supply on Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer is the place to shop for the best selection of cold weather gear. And right now, Hildress is excited to announce 50% off all Carhartt and Cat clothing. Offer good throughout the month of January. Carhartt bibs in most sizes starting at just $90 and many different styles of sweatshirts starting at only $40. We have a wide selection of boots including Rocky, Wolverine, and Georgia boots, steel-toed and non-steel-toed as low as $78. Visit us on the web at hildersupply.com. Check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oil Field Supply or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hilder Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all. Roan County Athletes. Hi folks, here at Hardman's, we are a full-service building material and hardware store. We have it all, from nuts and bolts, to plumbing, electrical, best-look paint, lumber, drywall, furniture, appliances, flooring, and kitchen and bath. Our best-look paint is a sure win. Brighten up your interior walls or spruce up your exterior. We don't just sell the products, but we deliver and install many of them as well. All of our installers are trained and certified. On top of all that, we know a little something about customer service. We'll greet you with a smile and have the knowledge to help you get the job done right. Stop in and let's tackle your next project together. Hardments, our family serving yours since 1907. If you're like I am, I forget that inspection sticker every time. Oh, when the time comes and you don't have time to go looking for a shop to get it done, stop looking and call Groves Auto Service in beautiful downtown Arnoldsburg, West Virginia, 304-655-6765. And don't look up and see those blue lights and hear that siren. Call Groves Auto Service for your appointment today. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page. This is Physician Assistant Adam Penfold, walk-in provider at Roan County Family Healthcare. At Roan County Family Healthcare, you can be seen without an appointment five days a week, Monday through Friday. Our walk-in clinic is here to care for you and your family whenever the unexpected, like illness and minor injuries, happen. We are conveniently located at 146 Williams Drive in Spencer and are here to serve you from 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday and from 8 to 4.30 on Friday. The walk-in clinic at Roan County Family Healthcare is here when you need us. Roan County Family Healthcare, health and wellness for the entire family. 
This is Lady Raider volleyball and softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivv.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License, 055775. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of all Roan County High School athletics. Go Raiders! Just why D D with dynamite. I'll treat you right. D D lots of cars. D D what's up? Come on down to D&D Motors and see Dan for your next quality used car. And for everyone who already has a used car, come and see Donna and her team of mechanics at D&D Customer Care for all your maintenance needs, from oil change to brakes and tires to alignments and everything in between. D&D, we are a full-service business that can meet all of your automotive needs. Call the dealership at 304-519-2157 or D&D Customer Care for your next appointment at 304-927-5688. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Roan County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual Deals on Wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land-only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth, and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to WVRC 104.7 FM's live streaming coverage of your Roan County Lady Raider softball team. We welcome you inside the Lady Raider softball complex as we prepare for a matchup of double-A versus class triple-A as Roan County invites the Ripley Lady Vikings to the facility here for a single game. Roan County unblemished so far this year, 6-0. and oh, Had a big victory in the LKC East last night, 6-0 over Gilmer County. They'll be stepping up in competition here at AAA, looking at the Vikings. They are just 2-5, and five, but when you look at the losses that they have, 
They have lost to perennial powerhouse teams in Class AAA, teams that I have seen numerous years at the state tournament. Yeah, they've lost to the likes of Spring Valley, Herbert Hoover, uh, Point Pleasant, uh, Hurricane, Wahama. Those are some tough teams. Uh, that goes up and down single to single A, double A, and triple A. Those are some of the top teams in in any class. So uh, a bit maybe a bit of a deceptive record if you look at it just on paper. Uh, but Rome County, if they can come out here and start reeling. Uh, Mahaley Nicholson's been on a roll this season. She's got 32 innings pitched, has only given up two hits and zero earned runs throughout the uh, early part of this season. Uh, she has been on a tear early on. Again, she'll get a balanced effort, though, here from a very good Ripley Vikings team and program. Let's take a look at the starters for both sides. First off, for the visiting Vikings, Jilly Butler will lead off, and she'll be in center field. Batting second will be right fielder Jalen Ramsey. Batting third, the, the shortstop, Macy Bogus. Batting cleanup is the third baseman, Camden Stats. Batting fifth, behind home plate, the catcher, Callie Bonecutter. Batting sixth, Layla Hensman. She'll be at second. Batting seventh in the pitcher circle, Mia Howerton. Batting eighth, Kara Spears will be the first baseman. Batting ninth, the left fielder, B.J. Milligan for Roan County. Leading off out in center field, Fair Smelko. Batting second at second, Liz Greathouse. Batting third and at shortstop, Piper Harlan. Cleanup hitter is the catcher, Lexi Burdett. Batting fifth, Mahaley Nicholson, and she will be the pitcher once again today. Day. Batting sixth, Lexi Mitchell. She'll be out in right field. Batting seventh, Joplin Harlan will be over at third. Batting eighth, designated player, Raina Stenzel. She'll hit in the order for the flex. Playing first base will be Emily Casto. And rounding out the starting lineup, batting ninth over in left field is Autumn Kraft. The two coaching staffs meeting at home plate with the umpires. We will break away for a minute. We'll come back and we'll get set for the opening pitch here. Single game action, Rome County and Ripley. Once again, this message comes to you courtesy of Brandon Dental Associates, located on Hospital Drive in Spencer, West Virginia. Traditionally, February is known as Children's Dental Health Month, and the focus is the prevention of dental disease in children of all ages. Good oral health begins at home through daily brushing, proper nutrition, and regular professional preventive dental care. Your baby's first dental visit should be no later than age one. Call Brandon Dental at 304-927-2775 to schedule your child's preventive care visit. That's Brandon Dental, 304-927-2775. You work hard for your money, and lately the cost of everything has soared, making some of those dreams and goals even harder to reach. And at Board Depew Realty, we realize that. We understand that buying a house can be financially stressful, especially with all the hurdles lenders require. That's where we come in. With our small staff of four, we offer you over 100 years of combined experience. We work as a group to get you closed and in your home quickly. We'll find creative ways when others may have given up to make your dream a reality. But most importantly, we remain your friend after the sale is complete. We'll continue to help you long after the deal is closed. And that is what we take pride in. It's more than just a job to us at Board Depew Realty. It's a job that we love, and we love the people who allow us into their lives. Buying or selling a home can be stressful, but not if you let Board Depew guide you. You work hard for your money, and how you spend it matters. Hello, America. Let me thank you. Board Depew Realty, serving you since 1958, 304-927-3250. Hi, I'm Ben Ashley from Ashley Insurance. Let's talk life insurance. It's not just about numbers, it's about peace of mind. Picture this, would your family be able to continue on financially if you weren't there? Life insurance can be the answer, and our team is ready to help you. We've got affordable coverage and expert guidance because your peace of mind is our priority. So don't wait for the unexpected. Call Ashley Insurance at 304-927-2175 or visit ashleyinsurers.com. I'm Circuit Judge Anita Harold Ashley, and I'm proud to sponsor this ad supporting the Roan County Raiders. I've spent a lot of time participating in sporting events in my lifetime as a player, a Raider parent, and a fan. I've observed there are lots of ways people enjoy the games. 
It might be like my dad, who quietly studied the game to catch stats, or my dear mom, who gained a reputation for yelling at the refs. Or the fan may be there primarily to enjoy the band or the cheerleaders. But it's clear, we're all rooting for the Raiders. That's when. Paid for by the committee to re-elect Judge Anita Harold Ashley, Kate J. Burbank, Treasurer. My drug breaks won't work, and I can't get to work. So I call him Starcher, the best place for parts. They had what I needed, and the price out of the line. Now my truck's stopping quickly, and everything's all right. That's right. Willard Starchers has the parts that you need and the quality cell staff to help you get it fixed. Willard Starchers, the best place for parts and the best staff to help you. That's very important. Dial 927-2520. Open seven days a week. Willard Starchers. Come into Stats Pharmacy where our patient's good health is our main concern. We have a drive through window where you can conveniently drop off and pick up your prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. Refill your prescriptions anytime online at www.statspharmacy.com or from your iPhone or Android phone using the Refill RX mobile app. No waiting in long lines. Just call ahead and your order will be waiting for you. We look forward to serving you at Stats Pharmacy, located at 100 East Main Street in Spencer. You can call us at 304-927-2980. We welcome you back to the Lady Raiders Softball Complex. Single game action getting set to square off. The first pitch between Roan County and Ripley set to go. Taking a look at the defensive lineup for Roan County. Again, Mahaley Nicholson having a tremendous start to her senior campaign in the pitcher circle. Lexi Burnett behind home plate. Emily Casto at first. Liz Greathouse at second. Harlan and Harlan. Over at short and third, Piper and Joplin, respectively, out in left field is Autumn Craft and center is Fair Smelko. And over in right is Lexi Mitchell leading it off here. One, two, three in the top half of the first. Jilly Butler, Jalen Ramsey, and Macy Bogus. Yeah, we're always looking for what kind of start is Mahaley going to have in the pitching circle? You know, does she get into a groove? We saw her last night working that inside corner. Uh, a little bit of that screwball action starts to the right side, outside corner for strike one. Taking that off-speed action to begin against Butler, who was out in front. Oh, one pitch moves in on the hands. Oh, and too quickly. Well, his first couple pitches looking good. You usually kind of gauge the... Uh, the speed between pitches. That's kind of a good gauge with my aliens, how she's feeling so far, working pretty quickly. Off speed again, one, two, and three. And down goes Bogus swinging for the first out. Yeah, we had, uh, we had yeah, to get some confirmation last night, team night team as well when we got home. Check out Mahaley with 18 strikeouts, not 17. That foul tip on a bunt attempt counted as a strikeout, so accounted for 20 of the 21 outs herself. Jalen Ramsey, the right fielder, into the batter's box. Swing and a miss at the first offering. Nicholson looks to be dealing once again. Of course, just the second batter coming off of one of the better performances of many in her career yet last night. Yeah, we've seen a lot of good games out of that young lady for the last three seasons now into her fourth. First one outside the zone. That one misses low. In that game last night, we didn't see her miss outside of the zone very often. And usually it was on some junk pitches trying to get somebody to chase. Swing and a miss. Nicholson head in the counts. One and two. At this rate, just rear back and keep firing. Ripley hitters having a hard time seeing the ball early here in this ball game. Nicholson comes with the off-speed action, just missing. 
Well, good frame job on the outside. Burdett trying to hold that one in. Ump wasn't falling for it. 2-2 two, two the count. Pitch, swing and a miss, and down goes the second batter, Ramsey, swinging. Back-to-back back Ks on swinging strikes. Good start here early. Macy Bogus, the shortstop. First pitch, inside corner, called strike one. A little inside, a little bit up in the strike zone. Let's see if she goes back down low, maybe tries to work that outside corner. Stays on the inside with an off-speed pitch, 0-2. Nicholson brings the 0-2 pitch, soft speed, just a flinch, but no swing for Bogus. Tried to pull the string on that one a little bit. Got him with back-to-back -back fastballs, take a lot off that one, try to get him out in front and swinging, but credit Bogus for not falling for that. 1-2 pitch, inside corner, jamming the batter once again. Three up, three down, all by strikeout. Nicholson picking right up where she left off last night's. To the bottom of the first we go, Roan County to the plate. Spring into action with Roan Self Storage. Are you feeling overwhelmed by the clutter that winter left behind? It's time for a fresh start with spring cleaning. And where better to store your treasures than Roan Self Storage? As you refresh your home and clear out those closets, remember Roan Self Storage is here to keep your belongings safe and secure. With a variety of unit sizes and 24-7 access, you could store with confidence. Not sure where to start? Here are some spring storage ideas. Seasonal gear. Store your winter clothes, skis, and snowboards to make room for summer fun. Holiday decor. Keep your festive decorations in perfect condition for next year. Sports equipment. Make space in your garage by storing bikes, helmets, and more. Ready to make more room for spring? Call us now at 304-421-3091 or visit us at RhoneSelfStorage.com and let Roan Self Storage help you clear the way for a beautiful season ahead. Ridgetop Rentals, located at 3502 Clay Road in Spencer, West Virginia, is the place to go for all your equipment needs. We have tractors, dozers, backhoes, excavators, teramites, air compressors, straw blowers, generators, jackhammers, torpedo heaters, and much more. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. You can check us out on the web at ridgetoprentals.machinerytrader.com, follow us on Facebook at Ridgetop Rentals LLC, or you can call us today at 304 908 20 04 or 304-927-1418. Ridgetop Rentals is a proud supporter of all Roan County Athletics. Let's go Raiders. Joint pain and orthopedic injury shouldn't prevent you from doing the things you love. At Roan General Hospital, we have an orthopedic team that boasts decades of combined experience diagnosing, treating, and surgically repairing a full range of orthopedic conditions. Our experts help you regain mobility so that you can live life in full stride. Schedule an orthopedic consultation today. Roan General Hospital, here you can trust close to home. A one, two, three, top of the first inning for Mahaley Nicholson, three straight strikeouts. We'll move to the bottom of the inning. Roan County coming to the plate for the first time. Let's set the defense. Mia Howerton is the pitcher today. Callie Bonecutter, her battery mate behind home plate. First baseman is Kara Sears, or Spears, sorry. Second baseman, Layla Hensman. Shortstop, Macy Boggus, Camden Stats. At third, left fielder is B.J. Milligan. Jenny Butler, or Jilly Butler, is the center fielder. And Jalen Ramsey over and right. One, two, three, do up. Fair Smelko, Liz Greathouse, and Piper Harlan. Fair Smelko up first. Hit 294 on the season, 17 at-bats. Five hits, eight runs scored, six RBIs, two triples, six stolen bases, and nearly had a home run last night, just missing by a couple of feet in right field. And turned on one nicely and ripped it down the line for the extra bases triple. First pitch popped up out of play. right in the neighborhood of Coach Sal's 
Santa Cruz. <laughs> A one pitch checking the swing. That one misses upstairs. It's a little change of speed from last night. Howerton a little bit more velocity on the pitches than what we were seeing last night. It took Roan County almost six innings to figure out the timing with the slower speed pitches last night. Another one fouled out, back out of play. One and two, the count to Smelko. And immediately a timeout whistled. Not sure if the battery and the coaching staff on the same page right here, Howerton and Bonecutter, trying to figure out what the signal was going to be. Just a quick check over there at the dugout. Some beautiful day here from the Lady Raider softball complex. A little breezy, but not too hot yet. Well, the sun's nice and warm if you're out in it. The shade, it's starting to get a little cooler. You see a little bit of wind going kind of dead to right field. One, two pitch, swing and a miss. Yeah, whatever the call was, that was the correct one. Smoke over top of that. Liz Greathouse up to the plate. 22 at bats this year, hitting 273. Six runs scored, four RBIs. Four stolen bases. Great house digs in from the right side. First pitch missing upstairs. And this time, Howerton working on the outside corner and just missing. 2-0. and oh. Just a little outside. Good eye there by Great House. 2-0 -oh pitch chopped foul. 2-1 the count now. One out. Bottom of the first inning. Rome County looking to try to strike first. And this one hammered up the gut, and that will break through. Great house with the single here in the bottom of the first inning. Very nice piece of hitting. Took the outside corner pitch and just poked it just out of the outstretched arms of the second baseman. Nice little hit there. Piper Harlan up to bat now. Hitting 6-11 on the season in 18 at-bats. Six runs scored, eight RBIs, a double, a triple, a home run, four stolen bases. And has drawn a couple of walks. Going to square to Bunts, move the defense, the throw down to second, not in time. Called strike on the play, but that was in order to allow Great House a better chance. Stolen base for Great House. And Roan County with a runner in scoring position. Good eye there on that pitch, Harlan. Wasn't fooled, low inside corner, just out of the strike zone. One one delivery, this one ripped over to third. That one gets through the glove. They're going to hold Great House up. Nice defensive play by Milligan out and left. She was playing shallow. And back to back base hits for the Lady Raiders. Brings up Lexi Burdett, cleanup hitter in the lineup, hitting 500 on the season. There's eight hits, 10 runs scored, six RBIs, two doubles, three stolen bases, and has drawn four walks. A good opportunity here with runners on the corners. Look for Harlan to try to go to second right now. She'll take off. They won't throw down. Called strike, and now runners at second and third. Great opportunity early for the Lady Raiders. Nice location. That was a tough one. It was a beautiful pitch. Had a lot of movement to it. Came back inside corner. Kind of froze Burdett a bit. Good opportunity here, though, when you got Harlan out at second. Just about anything hit into the outfield is a potential two-run opportunity. Going to get another quick timeout here from the 
Ripley staff. It's trying to get on the same page here in the bottom of the first inning. Clean base hit could score the first two, at least one. 0 2 count, though, to Burdett. She'll have to protect. Just one out on the board here in top of the first. O2 pitch turned on, ripped underneath the glove. That will score one run. They'll hold once again Harlan up because of the shallow play by Milligan, but an RBI single for Lexi Burdett and Roan County strikes first. A good piece of hitting, rip shot down the third base line. Like you said, the, the shallow depth and left field is playing very, very close over to that foul line, able to get to that one quickly. So a good opportunity here for... Mahaley Nicholson hitting 529 on the year. And coming off one heck of a performance, not only offense or defensively, but offensively last night. Yeah, had a two run home run in the it was the top of the seventh inning, I believe, to extend that lead out for Grown County in the six nothing victory over Gilmer County. A good LKC matchup there. Nicholson, two home runs on the year, four doubles, seven RBIs, and nine runs scored. Taylor Greathouse in at first to pinch run. And a fake bunt attempt by Nicholson. That will allow Great House to advance. And once again, Lady Raiders with runners at second and third. So Nicholson has a great opportunity. Looking on the outside corner, just missing. That one sailed a little bit. Last couple of hitters have been able to pull that ball down the third base line. Be trying to change up the location that one turned on ripped over at third great play by the third baseman camden stats and a heads up play on the base pass by harlan to get back quickly well, it was dangerous harlan was looking to run nice catch in the air nearly a double play it's a good heads up base running there by harlan to get back head first slide under the tag it's two outs now Big opportunity here for Lexi Mitchell hitting 421 on the year. Lays off the high one to begin. A couple of doubles, a triple, four RBIs, six runs scored. Lady Vikings trying to limit the damage in the bottom of the first. Roan County wanting two more if they can get them. Good cut. Just a little late by Mitchell, one and one. Outfield shaded to the left. Called strike on the inside corner. Howerton has looked good on that inside corner a couple times. Yeah, she's showing she's got some movement with her pitches. Howerton, she is just a sophomore. Mitchell stays alive. Count remains one and two. Home County's belted out three base hits so far in the bottom of this first inning. Just one run across, though. One-two pitch, poked foul, and that would be the great place to put it, Matt, with the right fielder shading to center field. There's a lot of green grass there. If you can get one down that line in right field, that's near guaranteed extra bases. Mitchell has plenty of speed on the base paths herself. Got remains one and two. Howerton having trouble seeing into the dugout with that sun bearing down. One, two. This one fought off once again. Yeah, that sun coming right over top of the third base dugout, pointing directly to the right side of this defense. Mitchell going to try to line one out here in fair territory. One, two, off speed, gets uh, away from the catcher. I thought she got a piece of it. Umpire said no, that was a strikeout, but it got away from Bonecutter, and Roan County will add to their total. 
That's a best case scenario there. If you get the foul tip, I mean, you get a chance to go up to the plate again. But Mitchell hustling, good awareness, gets down to first, scores a run. As Harlan comes in, the runners on the corners. Taylor Greathouse down to third. Brings up Joplin Harlan. Oh, that one goes inside. Harlan pulled the bat back, took one right off the right thigh, and the bases now are loaded. Couldn't even set the stage there. Joplin Harlan, 429 hitter, squared up to bunt, inside pitch, rode way in. Now a big opportunity. Got Raina Stenzel coming in, the designated player, hitting 385 on the year. So that five hits in 13 plate appearances. Be a great opportunity for the senior. First pitch ripped up the middle. That's going to drop in. That will score one. They're going to send Mitchell around. The throw will come in, and Roan County will strike with a couple more off of the RBIs of Reina Stenzel. Great piece of hitting. Just took that pitch, drove it into right center field. It took a weird hop as it hit the outfield and shot toward right. Good job to get it back in and save an extra base hit. Two runs score, 4 nothing now. Roan County on top. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Autumn Craft coming up to the plate. Number nine hitter, 400 on the year. She has a home run, a double, seven RBIs, and six runs scored. Looked on at strike one. Ooh, cold with the high, two, yeah. cold with the high pitch, trying to find one to line out into the outfield. It, it did hit her first career home run this year, and was looking to add to that total there. Right over the Jack Garrett four sign, opposite field shot, 0-2 pitch. That one ripped foul. Ooh, she had a good line on that one, just a tiny bit late with the swing. 0-2, oh, the count remains. Lady Raiders have plated four on four hits already. They love to have more. Take the opportunities when you get them. Another 0-2 oh, pitch down the middle, chopped towards third, dropped, picked up by Spears, not in time, and everybody's safe. Oh, unfortunate there. Spears had a good read on it. Bobbled the original fielding opportunity, but then couldn't quite get that ball out of the glove hand with the transition. Trying to rush that throw. Another run comes in for the Lady Raiders. 5 nothing now the score. Roan County back to the top of the order. A lot of this has happened with two outs on the board. Mitchell aboard first on the strikeout, but error. Harlan hit by a pitch. The two RBI single by Stenzel, and then Kraft reached on an error. So back to the top of the order with Fair Smelko. Struck out swinging the first time at the plate here today. Let's see if she can find one to drive again like she did last night. Swing and a miss at the first one. Howerton pulled the hook on it. Just took a lot off that pitch. Smell go out in front. A one delivery missing upstairs. Nice snow cone grab by the catcher bone cutter. It's one thing you will rarely see is Fair Smelko swing at a pitch outside the strike zone. She is disciplined. One one pitch turned on, ripped down the line. They're going to send Stenzel around all the way to the wall. Kraft is going to head around. They're going to send Kraft in. Here comes Smelko to third. And Smelko back-to-back -back nights with triples. This time it's two RBIs. That one was tattooed. Just rip shot down first baseline. It got past the right fielder, took a bad angle, trying to get to that ball. It went all the way to the fence. That's that green, green grass area you were talking about just moments ago, Drew. A lot of room there, Smelko, with the two-run triple. Rome County 7-0 now. Still two outs here in the bottom of the first. Yeah, the two-out rally magic here is working. They got three base hits in a row with Great House Harlan and Burdett back-to-back. -back. Burdett able to put Rome County across with her RBI single. But everything else has happened with two outs on the board. Rome County has put six on the board. 
Let's bring up the number two hitter in the lineup, Liz Greathouse. 22 at-bats on the year, 273 hitter. Singled, stole a base, and scored in this inning, the first plate appearance. First offering from Howerton, missing inside. Inside and a little bit low. Howerton's had some success on that inside corner, but Brown County's really found the timing. 1-0 pitch, a little out in front of it, chopping it foul. Smelko on third. After that big triple down the line, scoring two. 1-1 one, one, down the middle, hit towards Bogus off the foot. That will be the third error of the inning, and that will score the eighth run of the inning for Roan County. It's unfortunate there. Bogus squared up on it. It took a weird roll. Had to try to reach across the body, try to get to that one. 8 nothing now, Lady Raiders on top. Harlan Piper up to the plate. 6-11 <clears throat> on the year, eight RBIs, triple home run, a double. First pitch called strike on the inside corner. Arlen with a single of her own and a run scored in this inning. The errors for the Lady Vikings have really caused problems, but Rome County also with five base hits. Yeah, a little healthy mix there. Down the middle, this one chopped opposite field. That's going to drop in. They'll send Smelko around, or sorry, Great House around to third. And the inning will continue second straight base hits. Of the inning for Piper Harlan. Good job out there in center field by Butler to get to that ball, keep it from being an extra base hit, but hit hard enough to advance the runner. Lexi Burdett up to the plate, cleanup hitter. 500 on the year. 10 runs scored, six RBIs, a couple of doubles, and another big opportunity here for the Lady Raiders to put more on the board. First pitch down the middle. They're going to send Harlan with the wheels. No throw. At this point, you're just trying to get the hitter out at the plate. And all this happening with two on the board. Ripley just trying to get out of this inning. Roan County just wants to keep pouring it on if they can. Outside corner, yeah. nice location. Mm, I don't know about that. A little outside. I'll let you put it in with the umpire's union. <laughs> I'm filing a grievance. <laughs> oh, and two to the count. <laughs> Not good satisfied. Buddy Fred Taylor tuning in. Oh, two pitch chopped down the line as Burdett stays alive. We just call him the coach at this point, right? Coach Absolutely. Fred Taylor. Absolutely. Just an absolute lover of all things sports. Oh, and two the counts. Howerton fires. This one ripped towards third. Beautiful play, though, as Spears or Stats takes it away from Burdett. But Roan County strikes first, and they strike large. It is an 8-0 lead after one complete inning. Break to take. We'll come back with the top of the second. Thrive with five at the best community bank in the Canal Valley, Poca Valley Bank. Poca Valley Bank is now offering a certificate of deposit special, 10-month APY, annual percentage yield 5%. Take advantage of this great rate to grow your savings. For more information, stop by a Poca Valley Bank location today or call 844-782-2651. Poca Valley Bank, where relationships matter. Certain terms and conditions apply. Rates based on minimum annual percentage yield, subject to change without notice. Minimum deposit required of $10,000 of new money not currently on deposit with Poca Valley Bank to receive APY. Member FDIC. Visit Phoenix Nutrition at 225 Main Street in Spencer. Try our awesome drinks. It'll only take one sip to find out what we're all about. We offer loaded teas to jumpstart your day. All of our teas are sugar-free with just 24 calories. We have such a wide variety of combinations, you may never try the same drink twice. Phoenix offers protein shakes and protein coffees as well. We are open Tuesday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. and Saturday, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Follow us on Facebook at Phoenix Nutrition, Instagram at phoenix.nutrition.wv, and come visit us at 225 Main Street in Spencer. Proud supporter of all Roan County Raiders. Want to look good and feel good? Then stop by and see John Penna at Penna's Barbershop in Spencer on Main Street. Want a guaranteed spot? You can set up an appointment, but if time is not an option, walk-ins are always welcome. 
traditional haircuts no problem tapers high and tight flat tops and beard trims or if you're looking for something new he can do that too custom designs burst fades and mullets that's right west virginia waterfall keeping you styling and profiling Penis Barbershop has been a proud supporter of Roan County and Raider Athletics since 2009. Penis Barbershop on Main Street and Spencer. Stop in, call, or text at 304-531-4218. A big start to the ball game for Roan County. The Lady Raiders plating eight runs on six hits, three errors, and a pair left on. After one complete, it is 8-0. As we move to the top of the second, four, five, and six do up Camden Stats. The first to the plate who made a tremendous play on what could have been a base hit from Lexi Burdett. Yeah, it was a great job by Stats uh, making amends for the mistake earlier. She made two really good plays in that inning. Had the uh, the stab out of the air and then that great field and throw to first to finish it off. Uh, one pitch rides in on the hands, swing and a miss. Nicholson struck out the side in the first. Got them all swinging. Stats followed by the catcher bone cutter and then the second baseman, Layla Hensman, coming to the plate first in the top of this second inning. And Nicholson's been ahead in the count in that first inning. High cheese, swing and a miss as Stats went after it. Yep, uh, one that's hard to hit and hard to lay off of. Um, kindred spirits with her from years ago. Yeah, Nicholson does such a good job with that rising fastball too. I wouldn't even want to attempt to make a swing at that. Now the catcher, Callie Bonecutter to the plate. Nicholson missing low. You mentioned that, Matt. When Nicholson gets ahead and counts, she is even extra dangerous at that point. Well, it's any time. It gives you so many options. Missing on the inside corner this time, 2-0. I was going to say they had that wrong on the board. Got it right now. 2-0 the count. Swing and a miss. Nicholson comes back on that inside corner, able to jam these batters. It looks like it's going to be over the middle, and it comes in on the hands at the last second. And you got to applaud the Vikings. They've been very aggressive here early, trying to, trying to get a read on these pitches. 2-1. Out in front with the off-speed action. Nicholson fights back to even the count at two apiece. Two-two pitch, off-speed. That one missing low. Count full for the first time tonight. That was one thing last night. We only saw that happen twice, I believe, with Nicholson working to a full count. Gets it back with an inside fastball. Just amazing. Two up, two down. All five outs by K. It's again, uh, going to be another, this continues, another boring night for the defense. Now Nicholson's rolling like this. Mayla Hensman, who has 14 on our schedule, but she's wearing 16, so we'll make that change. First pitch to Hensman, missing low. On no pitch at the knees, called strike one. Well, I do got to thank our buddy Swolby, who is... Now on the payroll at WVRC, he has put together quite the scoreboard for me, and it is so user-friendly. Yeah, it's friendly on the eyes as well. Just continuing to try to improve the product. He tunes in, he checks it out. He's, he's seeing it from a fan's perspective as well. And the guy knows his way around a computer. One and two the counts. Two outs here in the top of the second inning. Nicholson looking for yet another one, two, three. That one knocked down by Harlan. Plenty of time across the diamond. And puncher outs for Casto. And that's a one, two, three inning for the Lady Raiders for the second straight. We'll move to the bottom of the second, 8-0 Roan County. 
Time has just changed. Are you ready for a change? Old Fences Realty can help with that. I'm Mike Greenlee, the broker, and I've helped thousands of people make a change in latitude. If you're thinking about selling, just give our office a call and one of our professional, friendly agents will be there right away. We don't just put it on Facebook and hope it sells. We use technology to reach all over the world. We have well-qualified buyers waiting for your home. Old Fences Realty can even help find you a great agent wherever you're moving. So call us right away. What's your next dream? Paying off your credit card? Remodeling your kitchen? Exploring the rainforest of Costa Rica? Whatever your dreams, they take some planning. And State Farm Agent Norm Daniels is right here in Spencer to lend a hand. As your local good neighbor, he can help you look at the things you want to save for and come up with a plan to make those savings goals happen. Because your money should work just as hard as you to achieve your dreams. So whether it's being free of debt or free to roam the world, call State Farm Agent Norm Daniels in Spencer today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You may not be aware that you can use many Hamilton Ancillary services even though your primary physician or specialist is in another location miles away. Blood tests, radiology, physical, occupational and speech therapy, infusion therapy, respiratory therapy, pulmonary and cardiac rehab are all services offered. Ask your primary physician or specialist if you could use many Hamilton Ancillary services at your next visit. Hamilton, system, better health care, better living. Health system, in Back to the bottom of the second inning we go. Mahaley Nicholson, Lexi Mitchell, Joplin Harlan do up as Howerton deliver, delivers upstairs to the first batter. Now downstairs with one at the toes. 2-0 oh the count quickly. Roan County batted around the order. Plating eight runs, six hits, three errors in the first. He said it was a combination. Brown County hitting the ball well, hitting it hard, making Ripley defense, putting him in a tough spot. 2-0 count here on Nicholson. 529 hitter. This one popped up, though, in the infield, and nobody calling it. It will spin foul. And Nicholson has just a little extra chance now. Went after the 2-0 pitch and just jumped on it and got underneath it. Very fortunate, just a miscue on the infield. I think Howerton thought that uh, Bone Cutter was going to get to that one. Took a sideways spin out of bounds for Nicholson. 2 1 count. Nicholson with redemption. And, and now hops, leads at 3 1. One hops the plate. Nicholson, two home runs, four doubles, seven RBIs on the season. Had a big two-run blast last night late in the game against Gilmer County. Howerton with the 3-1 in the dirt. And Nicholson, after nearly popping out, able to advance to the base paths. Good eye there at the plate. Let's see, we'll get the pinch runner in for Nicholson. Josie Cox coming in to run. Alexa. Speaking of running, didn't she just run? <laughs> was that? That was two. Was that great house? Gosh, I got to get these numbers right eventually. Still early in the season for me, Matt. As is for me. First pitch. Mitchell fouls it off. Oh, and one the count. And Mitchell coming in, 421 hitter. Swings at this Ooh. one, rips it right back at Howerton. A tremendous play by Howerton just to knock it down and recover and make the play. That will advance the runner as good as a sacrifice. Self-preservation, that was hit hard right back to the pitcher. Good reaction there. Joplin Harlan coming up, 429 on the year. Four runs scored, two RBIs. It was two for four last night with those two RBIs. Runner in scoring position with 
Single outs. Harlan will step back out for a second as Howerton gets ready. Now this one chopped. This is like a bunt. Going to be a tough play for Stats. Not in time. And now they're going to send the runner across. Are you sure that's not your daughter? That's what I said. Yeah, that's what we said. He's Yeah, I thought he said Taylor Greathouse. I was like, that looks a lot like your daughter. He, he said that, <laughs> but he was mistaken. Rodney Cox in here with us. <laughs> and he had me confused. I was like, are you sure that's not your daughter? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. Infield hit for Harlan. She'll head on to second with no throw. And now runners at second and third with one out. Another opportunity here for Stenzel coming in. Had a two RBI single earlier in that first inning of play. And really broken up, broke open the scoring for the Lady Raiders. And that ain't this one hit softly over towards second. That's going to score a run. Stenzel makes it close. But Stenzel will be put out. That is, though, her third RBI on the sacrifice. Just as good. It was off the end of the bat, and it had a weird side spin to it. Great hustle, though, to make that a tough play. Autumn Craft, the number nine hitter coming up. 400 on the year, seven RBIs. Craft hits this one at second base, fielded cleanly that time by Hensman. And across the diamond rope, Kenny, though, tacks one on in the bottom of the second. They lead after two complete, a score of nine to zero. Hey guys, this is Shannon from Miller Steels and Deals. We have all your shopping needs from the bedroom to the kitchen, bathroom, and laundry room. We got you covered. Looking for furniture or even maybe a gift card? Come on by Miller Steels and Deals on Mount Zion Ridge in the Old Armory Building. Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5, for the best prices around. Give us a call, 304-804-6006. McIntosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances has been servicing Spencer and the surrounding area for over 50 years. McIntosh carries the finest selection of products to bring you the best value for your purchases. We are a full-line furniture, appliance, bedding, and hardware retailer. We proudly supply Amana, Frigidaire, Vaughn, Brone, Lazy Boy, Whirlpool, Brown, and Maytag products. Shop local and support local businesses who support local athletes. We offer what the big stores won't, sales, service, delivery, installation, and removal. Call 304-927-2700. Visit us on the web at macintosh.goretailer.com. Check out our Facebook page at Macintosh Hardware Furniture and Appliances or stop by and see us at 204 Market Street in downtown Spencer. We've played two complete from the Lady Raiders softball complex. Rome County busted out for eight runs in the bottom of the first. Tacked one on in the bottom of the second. One run, one hit, no errors, and one left on base. The third RBI of the night for the designated player, Raina Stenzel, came as a sack RBI. And she has certainly done her part to help Rome County as we move to the top of the third. 7-8-9 due up for the Lady Vikings, the pitcher, Howerton, followed by the first baseman, Spears, and the left fielder, B.J. Milligan. Nicholson's been rolling here in the first two innings. Five strikeouts, and then that last one was a put out from Short. Just trying to let her senior teammate get in on the action a little bit. <laughs> it can be quite boring to play defense behind Nicholson sometimes when she is rocking and rolling. It has been in this first six-plus games now. Messing up at the eyes. 1-1 one, one the count to Howerton. Nicholson had 63 strikeouts going into last night. Tack on the 18. Five more here tonight. I don't know math, but that's a lot. Seems like a lot. Two and one the count. Rome County will be off tomorrow night. It's been a busy week already, but they'll be off tomorrow night. Getting prepared for a very nice doubleheader on Saturday at Doddridge County High School. 1 p.m. is the scheduled first pitch. Swing and a miss, two and two. We'll be up there, Matt, with some coverage. Well, I'll be up there with some coverage. Yeah. Matt's gonna got to, another job. You're going to take Swolby with you. Put him to work. Let him run that computer for you. Two and two the count. 
Off speed pitch, swing and a miss, and another one in the books. Strikeouts, now number six. Number 12, if my Sears. math is correct, that's 87 now on the season. <clears throat> Through six games and a couple innings. First baseman, Kara Spears, to the plate. Low and inside on the first one. Again, as you mentioned, Nicholson came in with 590 career. The question is, is if she stays healthy and continues to pitch well, where could she end up at the end of her senior campaign? Well, she's averaging close to 200 a season, so tack that on. She might be near 800 by the time she this whole thing is over. Would be incredible. Is heading to the University of Concord next year to continue playing softball. It really has just been a fantastic career. Swing and a miss. Back to the inside corner went Nicholson. Well, there's another senior on this team that is going somewhere next year. That's all I can say because her mother said, do not say a word or I will do bad things. So I'll wait until they release the info. One-two pitch. Missing upstairs. You should have told her that you're the information station, Drew. <laughs> Only so long as they allow it. <laughs> two and two, the count. Nicholson rocks and fires, missing inside, little low. Full count for just the second time tonight. Yeah, worked out well the last time for Nicholson, the the last full count she had. See if that trend continues. Comes the payoff pitch. Whoa, Whoa way inside, and that's going to clip the batter. And Spears will head down to first. First blemish of the night. And the first base runner aboard. I'll take blame for that. Broadcaster Kai Bosch. One out, one on. Going to give Spears a little chance to try to walk that off. Says she's okay to go. And the number nine hitter, the left fielder, B.J. Milligan, to the plate. Sun has now set over the field, so that should not be an issue for either team. Squaring the bunts, called strike, or did she go around? I think she may have went around. Looking to advance runners here is Milligan. Oh, and one, the count top of the order, and Jilly Butler in the on-deck circle. You feel the temperature starting to drop just a bit. Low pitch, one and one. Wind still a little breezy going toward right field. A little bit from left to right. One one delivery off speed out in front is the batter Milligan. Top of the third inning here, Ripley with their first base runner. First opportunity to maybe get something on the board. Trailing 9 nothing. 1-2 pitch. Missing low, 2-2. Two and two. Nicholson going to take a little extra time there with the rosin bag. Try to gather herself there in the pitching circle. 2-2 two, two counts. Check swing, called strike three. That was up with the numbers, Matt. That was a little high, but we'll take it. I'll take back that grievance I had earlier with the missed strike call. Strikeout number seven on the night for Mahaley Nicholson. Two outs now. And back to the top of the order, Jilly Butler, the center fielder. Be the second time she has gotten to see 
Nicholson, who starts her off upstairs, swing and a miss. He took a little bit off of that one, got Butler out in front just a bit. Nicholson doing a good job now, second go around, changing the first pitch speed and location. Been liking to work in low and inside that one up out of the strike zone. Squaring to bunts, backing off, and taking strike two is Butler. O2 the count. And again, Nicholson ahead in the count. So many options with this pitch. O2 pitch, off speed, swing and a miss. And once again, Mahaley Nicholson strikes out three of the three batters that she could get out in the inning. We move to the bottom of the third. Roan Kenny leading big, nine to nothing. Hungry? There's only one place to go to satisfy a hunger that big any time of the day or night. McDonald's in Spencer. Choose from the famous Big Mac, quarter pounder with cheese, add fries and sweet tea, and you've got a meal that can't be beat. Start your day off right with the best breakfast in town. McDonald's in Spencer. Egg McMuffin, sausage egg and cheese biscuit, hot cakes, sausage burrito, add a cup of premium coffee and a hash brown. Great prices every day. McDonald's in Spencer. I'm loving it, and so will you. Hey, are you serious? I like a good laugh, I bet you do too. Which is why I say, if all those insurance companies want to spend a gazillion dollars on funny TV ads, go right ahead, as long as it's not my money that's paying for it. Here's how you get seriously good auto, home, business, or life insurance. Go to Erie Insurance. With Erie, a great price is just the start. You get unbelievable service, independent agents you can really trust, and superior products, like Erie Rate Lock. You hear that? Rate Lock name says it all for car insurance it can't be beat but hey don't just take it from me see for yourself why more than 90 percent of Erie customers stay with them year after year after year seriously your Erie insurance agent in Spencer is the Kirby insurance agency get a quote at 927-2544 that's 927-2544 or visit kirbyinsurance.com. Bear Smelko leading it off for Roan County in the bottom of the third, takes a rip at the first pitch to the second baseman. Going back to the last inning, that's the third straight put out by Layla Hensman at second. Yeah, she's been busy the last few at-bats. Liz Greathouse up to bat now. Greathouse, one for two. Singled, stole the base and scored in the first and then reached on an error and was stranded. She'll drop a really nice bunt attempt here. Stats has got a hustle, not nearly in time. Stats has been busy over there at third. It was a well-placed bunt that went in between the pitcher and the third baseman. Stats took a little bit of a weird roll to Stats' left and kind of pulled her footing off a little bit. Second Bring, base hit for Great House. Brings up Piper Harlan. Harlan two for two with a single. That'll raise that 6'11 batting average up a, just a little bit. Squared to bunt, backed off. They'll send Greathouse down ahead of the throw. And the second stolen base for Greathouse tonight. And Room County being aggressive on the base paths. We've seen that a lot this season so far. Just trying to manufacture runs, get one in scoring position here for one of your best hitters on the team. No one won the counts. Harlan swings at this one, got out in front of it, but that's going to be a dangerous place. It'll drop in. Greenhouse had to stay at second, but Harlan is now three of three. Yeah, just hitting that Bermuda Triangle between left, center, and just over the shortstop's head. Unfortunately, had to hold Greathouse up, but that gives two aboard now for Lexi Burdett. Single with an RBI, scored in the first, and then had a really nice shot robbed with a great play by Stats at third to end the first inning. Squaring him up, backing off, heading down to third with a throw. Very nice throw from Bonecutter, but Greathouse is going to swipe her third base tonight. Now that throw was on time, just a little bit high. Good job by Greathouse to get underneath of that tag. Runners advance. 
second and third now. Just one out here in the bottom of the third inning. Nine nothing lead. Roan County looking to add to that. Pitch number two misses high and away. Two and zero. Oh. That's one thing. Roan County's been very patient at the plate and have gotten ahead in the count. This one right down the middle. That's deep enough. They got to get Greathouse back to the bag here. Oh, my goodness. What are they doing? Mm, I think she lost track of maybe how many outs were on the board. Oh, that's an easy run on a fly ball to deep center field. She took about three or four steps too quickly. I mean, that was a good shot. It looked like it had a chance to get to the gap. But in that situation, you have got to hold up. Well, a base running mistake by Roan County. That could have been number 10 on the board very easily. Two outs now with runners at second and third. Mahaley Nicholson. So we'll say, let's see if we got another two-out rally. Rome County did a lot of damage with two outs on the board in the first. Plated eight. Got another one in the second. Looking for more here in the third. 1-0 the count to Mahaley Nicholson. Out in front of that one. Evens the count at one and one. Haley had that big two-run home run last night. She's obviously got enough power. And this is a shorter fence than what we saw up there at the uh, Sue Morse complex. Out in front, pops this one back out of play. One and two the count. Lady Raiders have been offensive minded here. Nine base hits, nine runs. One, two, that one slides inside. Good eye there at the plate by Mahaley. Two, two count, two outs here. Inside corner ripped down the line. <laughs> Coach mm -hmm. Smelko jumping out of the way. Got just out in front of that one. I'd say Jessalyn doesn't mind that she got out in front of that one instead of ripped it. Yeah, over top of that one a bit, too. If not, that would have been self-preservation there for Coach Jess. 2-2, two, two, the count remains. Two outs, runners on second and third. Off-speed pitch, gets away from Bonecutter, tries to send it down and just pulled off of the dirt in time by Spears. Roan County with two aboard but no damage. After three complete innings, it's Lady Raiders nine and Ripley zero. As someone who played high school sports, I was able to learn the importance of hard work and being dedicated to your job. And these lessons are why it is important that we support high school athletes. I have continued to apply these lessons to my career as a prosecuting attorney for the last 15 years. And they are the same lessons, hard work and dedication that I will use every day as a circuit judge. In 2024, vote Josh Downing for circuit judge in Division Three. Paid for by the committee to elect Josh Downing, Aaron M. Nichols Treasurer. If you have been injured in an auto accident, don't wait to seek the compensation you deserve. At Joel Baker Law, we will work tirelessly to ensure you receive fair treatment and the maximum compensation possible. Contact us today for a free consultation, 304-500-9238. Your road to recovery starts here. Did you know that Spencer Tire and Mounting is your certified inspection station for vehicles, motorcycles, trailers, and modifieds? No appointment necessary. And for tires, Spencer Tire offers a huge selection. And with tire purchase, tires mounted and balanced free, along with free tire rotation every 5,000 miles. Spencer Tire and Mounting is the store that offers you more. Compare their prices to anyone's. Ripley Road, Spencer, next to Jack Garrett Ford. Three full in the books from the Lady Raiders softball complex. Rome County leading 9-0. Rome County had a couple of runners aboard, second and third, and could not get them across. No runs, two hits, no errors, and two left aboard. Rome County now has banged out nine base hits on the evening. 
Now back to the Lady Vikings, number seven, Jalen Ramsey. Two, three, four coming to the plate in the top of the fourth. Jalen Ramsey, Macy Bogus Camden stats to lead it off. Nicholson and his defense have been rolling along so far through three. Only allowed one base runner so far. That was on a hit by a pitch. Eight strikeouts for Nicholson so far. 1-0 pitch. Swing and a miss. That one upstairs, outside corner. Tough location to try to get a read on. Swing and a miss on the 1-1. One, one. Now 1-2. One and two. That was just off the outside corner. Good pitch location. Tough for the hitter to, it's hard to make a read on that. You know, do you let it go and risk getting a called strike? Just try to take a whiff at it. One, two pitch gets away from Nicholson. Just a little further off the outside corner. Two and two, the count to Jalen Ramsey. August in the on-deck circle, another one, swing and a miss. Nine strikeouts now, now for Mahaley. Number 15, Macy Bogus. Shortstop, Macy Bogus up to bat. Just her second plate appearance, struck out swinging in the first. Certainly nothing to be ashamed about. A lot of people are doing that early in the season. Swinging and a miss at Mahaley Nicholson's pitches. First pitch up at the eyes. Want to know the count. Check swing. Called strike anyway. One one count. Top four here, Roan County with a nine nothing lead. Lost speed action, swing and a miss out in front. Nicholson ahead in the count once again, one and two. One two pitch, just missing. Ooh. Just a bit outside. That one looked pretty good from my vantage point. Of course, I am just barely peeking over the press box here. It's not the worst call I've ever seen by an official, but as it stands, two two pitch, belt high fastball called strike three, and for another game back into double figures with strikeouts is Mahaley Nicholson. Now you can just hear the crack off of the catcher's mitt. Nicholson put a lot on that last pitch. Clean up hitter now, Camden Stats. Squaring the bunt, popping it up. Just out of reach. Burdett got a pretty good jump on it, just all the way over against the back stanza here. No one count. No one on, two outs, top of the fourth inning. A one pitch inside corner caught the edge. And that low inside corner has been working for Nicholson. I went to the count. Nicholson rocks and fires. Called strike three on the way, 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 way inside corner. 
Nicholson rocking and rolling, though. Roan County back to the batter's box in the bottom of the fourth with a 9-0 lead. Hi, this is Lisa Simmons inviting you to join the team of savings and visit Honest Fred's Flooring at one of our three locations, Spencer, Parkersburg, or Marietta. That's where you'll find our warehouses stocked with all the latest trends in flooring, carpet, vinyl, ceramic, hardwood, or the very popular luxury vinyl flooring. We have a price to fit every budget. We offer professional installation and financing is available. So come see what you've been missing at Honest Fred's Flooring. You can also check us out on the web at honestfreds.com. Builder Supply on Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer is the place to shop for the best selection of cold weather gear. And right now, Hildress is excited to announce 50% off all Carhartt and Cat clothing. Offer good throughout the month of January. Carhartt bibs in most sizes starting at just $90 and many different styles of sweatshirts starting at only $40. We have a wide selection of boots including Rocky, Wolverine, and Georgia boots, steel-toed and non-steel-toed as low as $78. Visit us on the web at hildresupply.com. Check out our Facebook page at Hildreth Oil Field Supply or stop by and see us at the store located on Route 33 in Spencer. Hildreth Supply, a hometown store with hometown ownership and proud supporter of all. Roan County athletes. Moving into the bottom of the fourth inning, Roan County leading Ripley 9 0. The Lady Raiders busted out for eight in the first inning, got another one in the second, and that's all right now that Mahaley Nicholson and crew have needed. Nicholson, right now, 11 strikeouts, just one hit batter, and that is it. Well, we know that the top of the fifth is coming, Matt. We know that Roan County already has the eight plus lead. But I'm sure they would like to try to get some extras here to try to give them a better opportunity to close this one out in five. It'll start with Lexi Mitchell. Yeah, you certainly would like to have maybe a couple of extra insurance runs. You need to be up eight after five. Mitchell took that first pitch low. 1-0 the count. Call and strike on the next offering. Mitchell, 0 for 2 officially. She reached on an error after a strikeout in the first. Ended up scoring a run. And then ripped one right back to Howerton in the second, who made a tremendous play for the putout. This one ripped up the middle. No way that Howerton is getting a glove on that one. And Roan County now in double digits with 10 base hits. I really see in the ball well. Taking advantage of some opportunities. A couple of miscues in that first quarter or that first inning by the uh, Ripley defense. Brings up Joplin Harlan. Harlan was hit by a pitch and scored in the first and singled but was stranded in the second inning. First pitch called strike on the inside corner. Harlan thought that one was riding way in, jumped back out of the way. Got away from the catcher just a bit, but not enough for Mitchell to take off. Now one pitch. That was much better on that corner. Not one that Harlan thought she could take with some speed to it. So she's behind in the count zero and two. But to protect the plate now. Harlan hit the ball very well last night against Gilmer. That one gets inside, gets away from Bone Cutter. That will advance Mitchell into scoring position. And that one hopped a couple of feet in front of Harlan. The jump to get out of the way. Mitchell down to second now, runner in scoring position. A one two pitch. This one poked behind second, moving out, dropping it. Is the second baseman. What a play attempted by Hensman. She's made some good ones here, but that one just popped out of the glove at the last second. Yeah, it came all the way across second base to try to make that play. Good heads up base running there by Mitchell. Got back on the bag, trying to tag up. Second and third, Stenzel's night looks like it's done, and that was a good night for her. She was one for two with three RBIs. As Roan County be... will bring in Katie Coe. And they're also going to bring Ava Bratton in to run. 
Mexico is going to check in here to hit for Raina Stenzel. She goes out with three RBIs in the game. With Mitchell on third, Bratton on second. Nice opportunity here for the senior, Katie Coe. Two runners in scoring position, no outs. Bottom of four, Roan County looking for some insurance as they get ready to go into the fifth inning with a potential early exit. Well, again, it is eight after five, so Roan County is already at that point plus a run, but they would love to continue to put the offense on the board. Good opportunity for the senior, Katie Coe. First pitch, though, from Howerton. Nice. Dropped in about belt high. Looked like it was going to be up in the zone and just fell there to last moment. Good pitch there. On one count, healthy cut from Coe. That one stayed, though, on the outside of the plate. Yeah, Howard took a little bit more off of that one. Got Coe out in front. 0-2 count. Protect the plate time. Oh, healthy cut on that one. Drop, though, out of the zone, and Co goes down swinging. So Autumn Craft now coming up to the plate. First out of the inning, Craft with an opportunity here. Rips it up the middle, hits it off of the thigh of the pitcher. That's going to score both the runs, and that's going to be a two-RBI single. For Autumn Kraft, just hit it perfectly, and unfortunately, Howerton couldn't get the glove over it, ricocheted off her hip, and you hope that she is okay. Yeah, and Howerton was falling away from that one, as, or, or actually kind of fell right into that one as it was ripped right back up the middle. Took a big hop. You had uh, Heinzman coming over from second trying to make that play. And off the ricochet, it went back to her left. Trickled into the outfield, scores two, 11 to nothing now. Roan County on top. They'll check on the pitcher. Howerton, make sure she's all right. That was a hard hit shot right up the gut, and it ricocheted. I mean, you hope it didn't hit off bone, but and that one just went the other way. As you saw, again, Heinzman, who's been playing very well at second base, was heading over to field that behind the pitcher. They're going to give her a few warm-up pitches to make sure she's okay to go. Heisman's been very good at second. That one took off on the opposite way, though. Howard looks to be okay. Not showing too many ill effects there, but that's easy for me to say from up here. It's been... It's been a couple fortnights since I've taken a shot from a uh, baseball off of a body part. So you got a hockey puck off your <laughs> derriere at the Naylor game. It was buddy. my hip. It was my hip. Close enough. What are you saying? <laughs> you saying my keister goes a little further around than most? Yeah, these days maybe. No, uh, they're not going to allow Howardson to finish. Hate to see that. Mm. I mean, we have just been plagued by that. Matt. We, I was uh, just getting ready to say the same thing. We've go seen... back to South Harrison. Pitcher gets hit the first at bat, has to come out after a couple of innings. We saw yesterday, and what a terrible uh, uh, update we got from uh, Coach uh, Wendell Tom when we were walking out after that game versus Gilmer County in which on a strike three swing, the ball rode in and hit Bailey Frazier on the hand, and unfortunately, Coach Tomlin said hand broken out six weeks. Yeah, tough. Been a tough few games for Rome County opponents here lately. And we also had the, the first baseman from Gilmer get hit by a foul ball from the baseball field, so just tons of miscues, you know, just unfortunate incidents. It's going to be – that stat's going to move over from third. Mm-hmm. And they're going to bring in Quisenberry. Is that correct, Rodney? Quisenberry's going to go Esta out. Esther Quisenberry? She's going to go out to the outfield, and they're going to bring in, I believe that was the right fielder. 
be number Here's seven. Ramsey, yeah, uh, coming in from right. And Quisenberry, is she headed to right, Matt? Did you see that? Looks to be, yeah. And Ramsey looks like is going to come in and play third base. Okay. So those are the defensive substitutions. We'll break away real quick, come back with the continuation of the bottom of the fourth. Hi, folks. Here at Hardman's, we are a full-service building material and hardware store. We have it all, from nuts and bolts to plumbing, electrical, best-look paint, lumber, drywall, furniture, appliances, flooring, and kitchen and bath. Our best look paint is a sure win to brighten up your interior walls or spruce up your exterior. We don't just sell the products, but we deliver and install many of them as well. All of our installers are trained and certified. On top of all that, we know a little something about customer service. We'll greet you with a smile and have the knowledge to help you get the job done right. Stop in and let's tackle your next project together. Hardments, our family serving yours since 1907. Go ahead, car. Make my day. Do you have one of those intermittent electrical problems that no one can find? Let Groves Auto Service in Arnoldsburg, West Virginia, diagnose and fix that pesky problem for you. Call Groves Auto Service for an appointment today, and we will get to the bottom of it. Call 304-655-6765. Groves Auto Service, and don't forget to check out our Facebook page. New pitcher replacing Mia Howerton. It's Camden Stats moving from third. They'll move Jalen Ramsey from right field to short. They'll bump Macy Boggus over to third, and they'll bring in Esta Quisenberry to play out in right field. Roan County back to the top of the order with just one out on the board, a runner on first, and an 11-0 advantage. Yeah, that last one we saw, Autumn Craft hit one back up the middle, hit Howerton, sent her out of this ball game, unfortunately, for that young lady. Craft over at first now. One out, Roan County with an 11-0 lead. Smelko, one for three. It was a big one, though. The two RBI triple back in the second. Or I should say, sorry, in the first inning, the second time she came up to the plate. And Stats is behind in the count three and zero to the leadoff batter for her. And you see here early, Smelko trying to time that maybe that running slap bunt so if she's got the green light nope that's going to go over the head and that will advance craft down, down to the second. second first and second on a four pitch walk issued and now liz greathouse she is two for three with a single a run scored and three stolen bases yeah, really uh making making work here on the base pass is great house First pitch from Stats down Main Street. Sometimes if you're coming in cold, you just want to find the strike zone once, and that's what Stats did. Well, that was a take sign all the way for Great House. Stats had issues there the last at-bat. Going to make them throw a strike. Well, they missed there. They're going to throw it down to third, and Craft, Crafty. I know, that's a good dad joke, but it's perfect. she did swipe third. Melko moved on to second. One and one the counts. Two great house runners in scoring position now. And that one turned on and ripped into left field. Back goes the left fielder off the glove. They're going to send Smelko around from second. The throw not in time and in. With the two RBI double is Liz Greathouse. I can call that a double just because that would have been a snow cone grab, if anything. That was going to be a tough play to make with the left fielder shading far left and in. Had to retreat to try to make that one. Would have been a very tough play to make. So now you got you need two more runs on the board, and Roan County could look to end this one now. I never even thought that in my mind, but... If Rome County gets two more and that run is represented by the batter at the moment, it's a 15-0 and four at win. And just one out on the board, bottom four. Get your best hitter up to the plate. Harlan, 6'11", coming into this one. And was what, two for three now? Three for three. Three for three. All singles.
2-0 pitch ooh, down the middle, <laughs> and she wanted all of that one and then some. Yeah, she was looking to finish this one off right now. 2-1 and one the count. Still just one out here in the bottom of the fourth. <laughs> This one lined up a little better, but fouled off. Just a little bit underneath of that one. 2-2 two, two the count. Try to protect the plate. Just try to put one into the field here and give Great House an opportunity from second. 2-2 two, two pitch called strike three on the inside corner. Very nicely laid there by Stats. Well, Harlan was... Hugging the plate pretty close there, looking to protect the outside. Tough to read that one coming back in on the hands. Chance now for Burdett. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. Potential game-winning run at the plate. One for three tonight is Burdett with an RBI. Pitch number one, a little low. Burdett going to take her time getting into the box here, taking the signals from the third base side. They'll pop this one foul out of play. And the count evens at one apiece. This one chopped towards third. That gets under the glove of the third baseman. Then it gets away from Milligan out in left field. Burdett going to head around. Here comes the throw. It's a good one, but it's dropped over at third, and Burdett in safely. So what we'll do is we'll give her the single. The RBI is good, and then an error to advance Burdett all the way to third. And Roan County... Has the winning run at third base now. And a courtesy runner coming in. So Madison Smith, the freshman. Uh, Maddie Smith, Walton girl. Nicholson, well, she's done it from the pitcher circle. Can she do it and finish it with a walk off here? That one's going to get away. Smith is going to no nope. thought about it and then turned back. <laughs> Just hesitated just a bit too long to make that decision. Wise choice to retreat. Now you got Nicholson up right now. She's hitting the ball quite well over the last couple of games. She just needs to find one to line out into the field. And this one will be over. 1-0 pitch upstairs. 2-0 the count. Duo pitch gets away. There comes Smith. Is she going to make it in? Smith is going to score the winning run. How about Maddie Smith? She comes into the ball game and she takes home on the wild pitch, and that will do it. Lady Raiders in four innings, a dominant victory over the AAA Ripley Vikings. We'll break away. When we come back, we'll recap the ball game, have your statistics, and we'll give out your player of the game awards after these messages. This is Cassandra Sayer, women's health provider at Roan County Family Health Care. As a board-certified women's health nurse practitioner, I specialize in providing care to women throughout the many phases of their lives. At Roan County Family Health Care, we provide confidential family planning services to anyone of the reproductive age and offer breast and cervical cancer screenings at no cost to individuals who are uninsured or underinsured through the BCCS program. From adolescent health care to preventive and contraceptive management, pregnancy testing and prenatal visits with pregnancy care after through menopause and beyond, the staff in the Women's Health Department at Roan County Family Health Care is here to serve you. Call 304-927-1719 to schedule an appointment today. Roan County Family Health Care, health and wellness for the whole family. Mm -hmm. 
This is Lady Raider volleyball and softball player Mahaley Nicholson for Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Since 2016, ECI has provided West Virginia with top-notch service for both home and commercial needs. We pride ourselves on working closely with our clients to ensure that projects are completed in a timely manner, that customer expectations are met, or in many cases exceeded. Regardless of the job size, we have solutions for everyone. We specialize in septic systems, brush removal, dirt work, asbestos removal, and more. Check us out on the web at www.ecivv.net or contact us for a quote at 304-532-7653. Fax number 304-532-7653. Environmental Compliance Incorporated. Ed Nicholson, owner, West Virginia Contractors License 055775. Since 2019, DW Excavating has been serving Roan and surrounding counties. We offer services including, but not limited to, repairing driveways, construction site preparation, drainage solutions, property brush clearing, farm road construction, culvert repair and installation, and utility line installation and repair. We provide free estimates. Check out our Facebook page or contact us at 304-532-2968 for more information. DW Excavating, taking pride in our work and in our community. DW Excavating is a proud supporter of all Roan County High School athletics. Go Raiders! Tis why D.A.D. with dynamite. They'll treat you right. D.A.D. lots of cars. D.A.D. will sell you Come on down to D&D Motors and see Dan for your next quality used car. And for everyone who already has a used car, come and see Donna and her team of mechanics at D&D Customer Care for all your maintenance needs, from oil change to brakes and tires to alignments and everything in between. D&D, we are a full-service business that can meet all of your automotive needs. Call the dealership at 304-519-2157 or D&D Customer Care for your next appointment at 304-927-5688. Stop by Spencer Cash Saver to check out our fresh produce, quality meats, and our new grab-and-go deli sliced meats and cheeses. New two-week ads start every other Thursday with the best prices for your budget. Save money and shop local at Spencer Cash Saver. Carpenter's General Store in Spencer has been saving you money and giving you the best selection in Roan County since 1996. We have an amazing selection of domestic, import, and craft beers, ciders, and wines at the absolute lowest prices anywhere. And if we don't have it, we'll get it for you. We have a sporting goods section with all the right fishing gear, locally crafted lures, and live bait. And we also carry a great selection of firearms and ammunition. And once again, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you with the lowest prices guaranteed. We're open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. So come see us at 746 Arnoldsburg Road in Spencer. It's a convenience store with a whole lot more. Calhoun Banks is your hometown bank. We've been serving Calhoun and the surrounding areas for over 120 years. We offer many financial and banking services, including commercial, online and mobile banking, mobile wallet, our annual deals on wheels loan sale, home and construction loans, and we specialize in land only loans. With offices in Grantsville, Arnoldsburg, Elizabeth and Glenville, we are ready to serve the needs of all of our communities. Stop in and see us at one of our four locations today. Visit our website at CalhounBanks.com and follow us on Facebook and Instagram at CalhounBanksWV. Lobby hours are Monday through Thursday, 8.30 a.m. to 3 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Friday lobby hours are 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. drive through open 8.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturdays, our drive through is open 8.30 a.m. to noon. Equal Opportunity Lender, member FDIC. We welcome you back to the Lady Raider Softball Complex as Roan County gets it done in a big way. <laughs> Excuse me, on both sides, offensively and defensively, they got things going very quickly off of the bats. Mahaley Nicholson striking out the first three batters all in a row. Butler Ramsey Bogus, that was a sign of things to come. Rome County got eight runs in the bottom of the first. They batted around the order. A lot of the damage done with two outs on the board. They tacked one on in the second. Didn't get any in the third, although they had runners at second and third. And then in the bottom of the fourth, we were just looking for maybe some insurance runs. Instead, Roan County explodes 
for six runs in the bottom of the inning, and they close it out before the fifth even gets there. 15 runs on 13 base hits. Ripley did not help their own cause. Six errors defensively for the Lady Vikings as Mahaley Nicholson stays perfect this year. Howerton gets the loss. Hope she's okay taking one uh, off of the hip there in the latter part of the ball game. For Mahaley Nicholson, she goes four complete innings, striking out 11 of the 14 or 11 of the 13 batters she faced. She hit the other one. That was it. She threw a no hit shutout once again here tonight. Just another tremendous outing for Mahaley. Offensively, a lot of ladies. Stacking up the stats here. Ferris Melko just one for three, but it was a big triple with two RBIs, a pair of runs, and a pair of walks. Liz Greathouse was great today. Three for three, two RBIs, a double, three stolen bases, and two runs scored for Greathouse. Piper Harlan goes three for four with three singles and a run scored. Lexi Burdett, two for four with a pair of RBIs and a pair of runs scored. Mahaley Nicholson didn't need to do it at the plate. 0 for two with a run and a walk. Lexi Mitchell, one for three. She scored a couple of runs. Joplin Harlan, one for two with a pair of runs, and she was hit by a pitch here tonight. Raina Stenzel had a great outing, although just one for two. She did have a sack RBI, too. She finished with three RBIs on the night. Katie Coe got one at bat. She was 0 for 1. Autumn Craft, one for three with a pair of RBIs and a stolen base and a run scored. Well, Matt, that's what you want to do if you get a team like Ripley in transition. You want to get on them quick, and Room County did. Yeah, jumped out early, 8 nothing in the first inning, and just never looked back from there. Great outing here for the ladies. Uh, got an update from uh, Toby Ford on the boys' game. Doddridge County was up 4-3 to three going into the bottom of the seventh inning, and Carter Kinder hits a two-run home run for Roan County to take the victory oh, wow. over Doddridge County 5-4 to four on a walk-off home run in the bottom of the seventh. A huge congratulations to Carter Kinder. I really hope somebody got that one on film. Wish we had more of us, Matt. We, we, need, do more. Many we need to be more in things. multiple places at multiple times. Roan County remains perfect at 7-0. And we'll talk about their next outing and our next sports broadcast coming up after this as we get ready for our Willard Chief Star Auto Parts Player of the Game Awards. <laughs> Customer went down to Starchers, and he was looking to make a deal. He was in a bind and broken down and looking for a steal. He came across a counterman who said, we can really help. We can fix you up with the parts you need. We're the best you've ever seen. Fire up the engine, run, run, run. Grease up the chassis with a new grease gun. Tools on the wall and batteries too. Everything you need just waiting for you. Willard Starchers is the place to shop. Good people, good prices, good parts. Willard Starchers, open seven days a week. Dial 304-927-2520. Lady Raiders remain unblemished so far on the season. A big victory over Class AAA Ripley, 15 to 0. Time now for Matt White to distribute out our Willard G. Starcher Auto Parts Player of the Game Awards. Yeah, we're going to go all over the place here. Of course, you're going to start with defense. Mahaley Nicholson, of course. <laughs> we just start designating that award to her. 11 strikeouts and 13 at-bats. Shutout, no hitter, and... We're going to give one to Piper Harlan for a perfect fielding percentage here in this ball game. <laughs> Had a nice put out, 6-3, back in the second inning. The only player to get any kind of fielding experience here in this game with hey, the you, way Nicholson is playing. But, you can only take the ones that you get hit to you, right? Yeah, and <laughs> she did a great job. So, defensively, Mahaley Nicholson, Piper Harlan, players of the game. Offensively, I think you said it best, I thought Liz Greathouse. Had a really, really fine game. Three for three. Filled up the stat sheet. Two RBIs, a double, three stolen bases, and scored two runs. And Raina Stenzel, one for two with a sacrifice. Three RBIs in the ball game. Congratulations to those two ladies, offensive players of the game, Liz Greathouse and Raina Stenzel. Two more to go this week for us here on WVRC. We'll travel over to Ravenswood, and we will broadcast Roan County High School baseball action. Again, coming off of a walk-off two-run home run winner by Carter Kinder tonight. And we will be over there for the first pitch at 6 p.m. And then the Lady Raiders will take center stage again on Saturday up in Doddridge County. They'll face off against the Lady Bulldogs for a doubleheader 
Action begins with the first game at 1 p.m. The second will follow. Let me do it for us here tonight. Appreciate everyone joining us on our live streaming coverage of Lady Raiders softball action. For all of us here at WVRC, Matt White, my caller analyst.